What's up, Ninja Online guys? Welcome back to We Happy Few. This is chapter 49. Almost at chapter 50, wow. Uh, when we last left off, we had just entered that cellar there. Cleared it out of the, um... I can't remember what that gang's called. Some gang of thugs that are out in the Garden District here. But anyways, we cleared that, uh, cellar out of, uh... From that gang. Um... Discovered a chest that we'd ever, never actually seen. Uh, was there as Arthur. But we seen it there as Sally, so we took that. Remember. Finally got a shovel, so now we can actually hit dig spots, which we will be the doing shortly. And we're almost done exploring out this area here. So, uh, it's getting pretty good. Continuation of our last recording session there. I was thinking about, um, I, I've mentioned this a couple different times in a couple of different videos. I'll probably end up doing it sometime this week for sure. Just don't know when. Uh, but I was thinking about streaming, uh, Bioshock 2 Remastered. Just because, like, I would do a playthrough on it, but we've already covered it on my channel. I don't really want to do another playthrough of it, uh, for my channel. Just because, you know, nothing's gonna change. It's still all the same. I've played the game a thousand times, so... You know, and there's, it's been out for so long that there's tons of videos on YouTube about Bioshock. Um, with that being said though, I definitely still want to play it. And I figured, hey, if I'm going to play it, I might as well play it for you guys' entertainment as well. So I figured I would stream it. That way, at least if you did want to watch, the VOD would still be there. Or if you happen to catch it while I'm streaming it, then, you know, you can enjoy that too, I guess. I know uh, streaming has become like, it's it's been a popular thing for a while, it was becoming a prevalent thing for a while, nobody can not deny that, but even recently, like as of today, which is what, June 20th, 2020, um, streaming has just hit like all time highs, I mean, Twitch has been like the brand name platform for forever and now it's kind of hitting that point where people don't know what's going to happen with it, if it's going to stay, you know, top dog, or if it's going to get, you know, uh, rivaled by something else. Mixer was supposedly going to be its rival, but nobody really had big hopes for it, I guess, and it just kind of uh, dissipated, even with Ninja moving there. And, like, I'm not really big on just want them to stop screaming. the Twitch scene, or the YouTube scene for that matter, but... You know, it is social media and it's, you know, world news now because stuff like this is huge. You know, you mentioned this 10 years ago and nobody knew, like, what it was or, you know, if, you know, you would talk about it in society. But now it's like, you know, streaming is a real occupation. It's a real thing. It's big. It's bigger than, you know, a lot of things for that matter. I've said, you know, like seven times there, I swear to God. But in any case, though, um... It's just interesting to see, like, for example, I knew it was kind of becoming a more prevalent thing because you see, like, chess grandmasters, and not to say that they don't have lives outside of chess, but you see, like, chess grandmasters with their own streams on Twitch. You know what I mean? It's like, wow, that's that's a thing. And then to say, even to go beyond that, rather, um, the more bigger news is... Uh, rapper Logic, he says that he's retiring after he drops his last album. Rightfully so. I mean, he has a family. He wants to spend time with his family. You know, totally 100% get that. But I guess on top of that news, it was said today that he just signed a multi-million dollar deal with Twitch. So, obviously, he has his own fan base. So, Twitch is hoping that with him coming to Twitch, it will bring more fans to Twitch, right? And then that's more money for Twitch. Is that really... <sighs> Motherfucker. I didn't think that was a closed circle. I thought it was going to link sorry, up over here. I'm sorry you got me from, um, I'm sort of total rubbish, aren't I? So we'll run our ass back over here. Because I'm not going to follow the road all the way back. That's just logical. I am going to, however, pick some berries on our way. course. It's gonna start with this dreary ass like thunderstorms. Almost got like hit by lightning there. You're thirsty. 
wonder if scotch actually fucks you up in any manner. Obviously, it probably does. I can't see drinking a bottle of scotch in this game and it not doing anything. Ironically enough, I'm pretty sure this is where the I am what I am quest came from, or where we had to attend to. Let's head up there. Let's see what's crack a lacking. My filthy secret and swept and deep. Tis time. Tis time. She comes. Hello? Nimue? Vivian Mogals? We're getting some Greek vibes here. How do they do that? All hail, Sally Boyle, mistress of alchemy. All hail, mistress Boyle, who knows the secret of maternity. All hail, mistress Boyle, who seeks the other shore. I keep forgetting. You know my secret. This potion will help your daughter sleep. She won't get hungry as quickly. I don't know that I believe in magic. What else is left to believe in? The potion isn't magic. It's herbalism. Your mum knew herbs pretty well, didn't she? Yes. Oof. Especially what you can do with foxglove. In fact, uh, I came here for some ingredients I need for some... Well, drugs. Have you tested magic and proved it wanting? Or have you simply assumed that what you don't understand can't be true? I suppose I... haven't tested it. Then do this, if you like. We place our sacrifices in a chest in the wilds. I'll put the place on your map. Put some bricks in the chest and say this prayer. Bricks? See what comes of it, and then return. But about my ingredients? We'll help you with what you want, but first learn what you need. You don't even know what that is. Before the learner attains wisdom, the teacher has the right to give several tasks. Several. That's how it works, yes. All right. When will I see you three again? When you know what is unknown. Anon, anon. Oh, God. Of course Gwen needs a new nappy. Jesus, they're just loading us up, I swear to God. Makes me think that this quest line isn't that long, considering we're getting like an abundance of uh, points. I don't really know what else I would want at this point. There's not anything that really jumps out at me. Maybe picky picky would be nice. Yeah. That sets me up for herbalist and um lucky me later. Eventually I'm just gonna have them all anyways, it's just a matter of what I want at this current second. Because I was pretty much going that way anyways. Uh, it learned... Let's try that again in English. It looks like we're going to have to put our exploration on pause though anyways. Because um, Gwen needs a new nappy. So we have to do... English, Josh. English. We have to get back to her. So we'll do that. Oh, my nose needs a bath. All right. Uh, I should definitely keep one on me. It's gonna weigh me down a bit. It sucks, but.
tons of Jimmy bars, jeez. Sacrificial bricks. That's what I thought. Thought I'd seen that pop up in our our uh, menu there. I just wasn't sure. Uh, did I throw? Nope, because I didn't even grab it. Good thing I remembered. Both of the dig spots, yeah, they're both down there. So we'll change her nappy and then I'll actually jump over here and do the dig spots. Just gotta remember that I gotta, well, I don't have to remember because I'm gonna see it that I can't go directly all the way down here. This cleaver is super nice to have though. Definitely glad we found it. And that I'm using it. Because, goddamn. Makes fighting a whole lot easier. Okay. So I'm gonna need to craft a nappy. You need pure water for that? I did not know that. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. You know what? That's where my pure water went. Because I changed her nappy after I got water, and I I got water just because I was like, oh, I'll be smart. Grab water now. That's actually, wow. Oh. That mummy's seen people in much worse shit today. Yes, she has. Hilarious. Is that your hungry cry or your tired cry? It all just sounds like loud sometimes. All right, spin that. Need another water filter. Almost out of metal tubes. Really, I should only be using this if it's for Gwen's, um... Gwen's interest. Lost track there, but... Oh yeah, duh. I'm sure I can... Excuse me? Where is she going? Couldn't be better, thanks. No, those are the nuts. <laughs> what is she doing? Get out. <laughs> Fucking people, man. Just walks right in. I should really go to Lionel's first because these tracks would be so much nicer with trains. I'm not gonna have that option to buy the uh, thing for much longer. I'm pretty sure his shop's actually closed now, but.
Now, well, worst case scenario, if we miss it, we'll just head back the next day, which we are going to miss it, but it's fine. I'm going to stay away from that doctor. I don't trust them. Of course it's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? The hippo club. You take your joy immediately. How do I want to get there? Left, right, left. Okay. Ah. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to today's edition of Humor Hour. We got way too close to that guy. Yikes. Hmm. I could use a bit of money. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. The old top shelf. This is gonna kinda suck, but I'm gonna make it work. <sighs> Cricket bat, torch, spiky brick, Rick the stunt tuck, fine linen canteen, tear stained doll, and tear stained letter. Dearest Peggy. I've read that. Yeah, we've read that before. We got three skill points for that, though. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to save up for uh, probably Lucky Me next. That way I can actually fix this here. Get better loot. And then I'll go back for Herbalist after. Fortunately, I'm up for time. Not the recording, but up for time. Get there. I'll probably need to sell some shit, too. Well, that was tedious. What do you throw in? That good 12 hour sleep dough. Alright, I have no idea how much the baby feeder is gonna cost. Uh, we really don't know. Oh, well, they're all shit value, anyways. That's probably why I can't sell them, actually. Take that. Take that. I'm just going to sell all this crap that I'm grabbing. Uh, 
Yeah, I might as well sell all that. Ah, I shouldn't have grabbed that rock. Enhanced rock, though. Ho ho. Basically gonna do some uh, inventorying, inventory management, I should say. I mean, the chances I need all those are slim. Keep one. I'm positive I'm not going to use those. Let's take everything I have right now. We'll head over there. I'll probably end up emptying them out, to be honest. Alright. This way. Nice thing is that it's right around the corner from that safe house. How can I help you? Afternoon. 300. Well, it's a good thing I uh, brought a lot with me. Just gonna be extremely careful of what I make sure I sell here, too. Baby, you're a rich man. Don't need those. I only need one of those on me. Cleaned him out, that's for sure. <laughs> Poor bastard has nothing left. Ciao, there darling. you go. Out your bird likes it. Flowers. Lionel, flowers. Stall the baby feeder. Should also look at hitting another store. I was gonna say shop, and that just came out all wrong. Of course, there's not really one close by, huh? Problem with that is I have to go around. But I might as well offload everything I have now. My feet are killing me. That way I don't have to do another trip later. Hopefully. It's hard to say, but Where am I trying to go that way? I 
All right. Hmm. I could What's use a bit of money. Pleasure, then. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind. Lovely day for it. He only has a hundred. What a. F All right. Sucks, but it is what it is. Let me go through my inventory here. See if there's anything I can give him. He's not going to take all of these, but I'll take most of it. I hope you consider us for your future. Where to next? Check the shady dealer in this alley. I want to see what this guy has, anyways. Come on over here and unpack your drink. Seven fifty, nice. Uh, he has a fair bit of stuff, but more importantly, he has the money. Gonna get rid of that. Gonna get rid of those. Get rid of that. I'll keep one extra canteen. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry, love. Girl's got to live on a budget. Uh, okay. Get rid of that. Gotta go back home, so... Is there anything I need to offload on myself? Yeah, there is. All right, back at it. Stall the baby feeder. Can't tell if that's before or after. It's definitely before. Because I would have kept going down if it was after. Tis not. We definitely made a crap ton of money, though. I think that was the first time I've ever actually, like, genuinely sold a bunch of stuff in this game. Normally, I do it in most RPG games when I find something good in the shop. That's why I power loot. It's because uh, I usually... I power loot so I have that wealth of items, and then I look for something I want, and then when I finally see it, then I... Trade off so I can afford what I want. But most, more often than not, you actually don't have to do that, anyways. Nine skill points. Oh my god. See what I mean? The game just throws fucking skill points at you. Yeah, let's go for Lucky Me. Now I can get Herbalist and Hustler. I'll work at getting all... I'm going to save this one for last because I do like the fact any game that has a survival element to it, I, I like. So I don't really want to get that. But obviously, if it's the last thing, I'll get it. Uh, We didn't keep that shovel. But... I'm going to go back out here first, so I'll grab the shovel, and that way I can hit the dig spot, and then we'll come here so I can cash in on that and then head further in. Mind the gap, please. Plus, this is just a safer travel spot anyways, as we've come to learn. <laughs> 